Knowing the underlying structure of your workspace in Notion can really help you speed things up. But which one do you choose? Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay part of the conversation. For free Notion templates, check out the link in the description below. The specific setup that you're going to use is going to be personalised, but Para, GTD and PPV are three very common structures that a lot of people use, so in this video I'm going to go over the skeleton structure of what these setups look like. The Para setup was first mentioned by Tiago Forte, and then Marie Paulin actually put it into Notion. So we have projects, areas, resources and archives as four different databases. The projects database is where you put things that require more than one action. So maybe you have lots of different tasks that all relate to you getting that one project done. The project would be in the projects database and the tasks would be in your separate master task database. The master task database isn't a concept in Para, but it's something if you're working in Notion you will be using. Then as you can see, the projects are related to the areas and resources, so when you are doing that project, you can see what area that's related to and the resources you may be using. The areas table is exactly what it looks like. You have areas of your life that you can put in there. I put some examples in there. You've got home, university and business. And in those areas, you'd have a link to all of the resources that you may have and then all of the projects. Again, I'm going to reiterate, this is a bare bones structure, so a lot of these databases, when you look at other people's workspaces, will have many more properties involved. You'll have things like dates, priorities, durations, related tasks, and other related databases that they may have, but this is just the skeleton structure. The resources database serves as a point of capture, so all of the articles you read, podcasts you listen to, videos you watch, they would all go in the resources database, which can then be linked to the areas and projects that they're needed in. Thiago mentions about archives, and from what I can see and the community that uses Notion, archives as a database isn't very well used or isn't often used because a lot of the projects that you've completed, you've done, they stay in projects, or you just get rid of them, and the resources you're using, you constantly want to refer back to them or review them at some point. So I know for many people that do use Para in Notion, Archives isn't a database that they frequently use or go to. When looking at the Getting Things Done system, which Kehi has expressed quite a few times in some of his videos, the skeleton behind the system is just two databases, but the way that GTD is actually optimized is by using linked database views, so you filter specific pieces of information from these two databases. But essentially we have that master task database, which I mentioned in Para, and then you have the projects database. GTD actually talks quite a lot about reviews, so in the projects database you'll have some sort of review setup. This is an example. And then in the dashboard you choose to use that you link all of these databases to will then show the filtered information that you want to see. The Pillars, Pipelines and Vault system is from August Bradley and it's a combination of GTD and Para together mixed in with his own personal style and how he uses Notion. This setup is something you're more likely to go towards as you start using Notion and you start building up other databases that you want to link to. August talks about his action zone, which is essentially the tasks and the actions that he wants to get done, which will help him move forwards in those projects. The projects are in his pipeline area, which are essentially things that he wants to get done that require tasks. Then he has the pillars, which are the areas and the pillars, which are supporting everything that he's doing. Then there are two other databases that he uses in his skeleton structure, one of them being a daily tracking database, which is potentially a journal, something where you can put journal information for a daily entry or habits that you want to be tracking. And then there is a goals database which relates to the projects, so he doesn't start a project unless there is a specific goal behind it, so he's intentional with his time, with his tasks and what he wants to get done. Some of you may not like this, but the best setup that you can do is the one that you build. You will typically have a skeleton or a task database, a projects database, and some sort of areas or pillars database. But then from there, you can branch off in any direction you see fit. I would highly recommend checking out August Bradley's channel, not because you can just copy and adopt his system, but you can see how he uses multiple databases to feed in all of the tasks that he wants to get done. If you're not sure how to go about making a project management system relating the tasks and projects together, check this video out over here and I'll see you there.